everyone, welcome to Beneficial Gaming. This is my first gaming series and I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to be playing Seven Days to Die with the War of the Walkers mod. I've personally been watching Glock 9 and Guns, Nerds and Steel for a little while now. And after watching them for a bit, I was inspired to start my own channel. I've been playing the game for a while, I enjoy it. And I've been taking a lot of creative direction and notes from GNS, but I know I have a bit of a way to go to be at his level. Alright, so let's open up our starter pack. Get some of our essential resources. Craft a bedroll and put it down. I love the fact that they kind of give you this stuff early on. You don't have to go slapping some, you know, um, grass and, and chopping down a tree too, too early on. Kind of can jump right into the game with some of the bare essentials. Craft some gear. Um, get the weapons and, and tools crafted so we can get going. My goal early on for uh, this, this playthrough is I'm hoping I can find some good resources, some uh, good weapons and tools uh, that we can use. I also want to find some NPCs. That's another thing this mod has is they have these NPCs you can hire that can help you fight and, and play. So it kind of gives that cool multiplayer feel. And they can follow you around or you can leave them at your base and have them just kind of guard it. You can send them on patrols and there's all kinds of cool stuff. And I mean, I've so far I've ran into only a few types of NPCs. I'm not sure if there's more. I think there might be, but I've only seen the baker and the nurse. And actually there's this really cool little white fox that you can get that um, I think you can go around and he'll collect resources and stuff for you, which is pretty awesome. But having the nurse or the the baker early on with either some kind of melee or preferably in, in, um, for me a ranged weapon is huge because they'll watch your back and they're good like kind of like an alarm if there's any zombies around and because they'll just start shooting and you'll know that there's threat nearby so hopefully we can find one oh there's a crate in the distance uh, let's check this for some eggs and feathers Okay, need feathers. So, another thing about this mod that I really like are these crates that you can find all over the tempered biome. Early on, finding a couple of these is huge because like this one, food and, and, and drink kind of sets you up in, in a good position early on. A lot of them have uh, weapons and, and gear and building materials. So, finding a couple of these early on is, is huge. Oh, speaking of which, all right, there's another one. What does this one have in it? Let's check it out. Uh, some iron. Let's see, get kind of close. Ooh, weapons. Let's see what's in here. Wow, not bad. Holy shit, we got an AK early on and a pistol. All right. All right, let's check this stump for honey. Nope. All right, now that we got some feathers, let's craft a few arrows. Cool. And let's get these shapes going too while we're at it, just for the quest. Let's search this car. I like these models. All right, some oil. Very quiet. Ooh, there's a rabbit. Let's see if we can get it. Oops. Oh, gotcha. Another thing that I've noticed playing this mod is the animals don't run as well as they do in regular vanilla, which I don't mind. Honestly, it helps you get meat early on, but it is interesting. Okay, got enough for a bone knife now. Craft these and scrap them for the quest. Uh, 
Uh, another rabbit. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Yep. You dumbass. Ooh, a chicken. Let's get him. Surprise, motherfucker. See what I mean? Did not run that well. Oh, very nice. Iron pickaxe. Oh. Another victim. Gotcha, bitch! Oh, too easy. All right, this looks like Jen's place. Let's go through some of these. Okay, let's check the cars. Some pipe rifle. Not that I'm really gonna use it. Oh, there's a baker over there. Let's see if he's melee or ranged. You're my friend now. Very nice. Got a rifle. I'd prefer the AK, but I'm happy with what I got. Ooh, another crate. Nice. More ammo. Some Molotovs. Let's see if we can get this guy. Yep. Yes, I do. <laughs> Fuck you, Bambi. Chicken! Seriously, what the fuck? How did you f oh. Did you see that shit, Billy? Fuck. Too bad you're just a baker. Would have been better if you were a butcher. I think that's it for the trash out here. Let's go say hi to Jen. Oh, one more. Get in here, asshole. Jesus, Jen, your place is a mess. Clean this shit up. A oh, working vending machine. Grab some of this. Don't mind if I do. I also love that this game gives you these quests, like, gives you dukes early on. Makes it easy to kind of grab a few things and hire these bakers and nurses early on, too. Move it, Billy. Nice needle and thread. That's usually been something that I had trouble finding before, and we're going to need it for a quest, so it's good to find it early on. You again? I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Hey, Jen. I do like Dr. Jen. You need some work? I want to wash that shirt, okay. though. Be careful, and try not to get yourself killed. 
see if there's anything in here early on that might be useful. Mods would be nice, but I do kind of want to keep my coin. Oh, zinc. Fuck, that's expensive. I need some of this too. Uh, maybe later. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to keep my coin in case I run into another baker or a nurse. Kind of get that squad rolling deep early on. And let's check the secret stash. Wait. Why the fuck isn't this working? Not one thing. Damn it, Jen. Well, there's always next time. Okay, really? Hmm. You should this stock up fucked. on medical supplies. There's a zombie apocalypse out there. Can't even click on these. I mean, I can click on other shit. Hmm. All right. Give me a minute. And we're back. Let's see. Come on. Okay. That fixed it. Awesome. All right. Let's see what's in her secret stash. Glass fragment. Let's take that. Gonna need those. I don't think there's anything else. Want. Yeah, Thanks fuck for it. the business. We're open from since we don't have clock. Hello, stranger. Hello, Bill. Meet Billy. Billy? Bill. I've got just the task for you. Brilliant. Thank you, sir. I guess this kind of makes us friends now. Alright, this guy normally has like ammo and nothing I need right now. But I've been sell him. Maybe next no. time. Okay. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jones. Not bad. Football helmet. Let's wear that. Oh, fuck. Scrap it. Yep. Fucking idiot. Oh, sorry, Jay. Gotta take some of your money. The fuck is wrong with you? Why are you looking over there? You look like you could handle Easy yourself. Bitch. Oh, thank goodness. I couldn't find anyone to do that job. He usually has like schematics and skill points, experience cards. Find these in the world looting and stuff too, so. Oh, uh, you leaving so nice. soon? I was hoping we could hang out a while. Sorry, Jay. Got shit to do. Search your freezer. Thank you. Uh, fuck the shoes. I think I'm going to sell them to you. Here you go, Bill. Take your shoes back. And give me money. Alright. Don't need the crafties yet. Might find it in the world. I mean, I do need to craft a quick quest, but... I'll hold off. I still need to kill a bunch of zombies Beds, with the club. Drugs, booze. I've got it all. Okay. Lock these. I'm going to use this as a temporary storage until I get a couple quests done. And find somewhere to stay. If I don't find anywhere, I might just stay here for the night. And then tomorrow find um, a base of operations nearby. Um, I'll put that back. I don't need it yet. Let's see. Let's do some organizing. That there. Lock it up. I am getting kind of hungry. Let's eat that. Grab that. Let's eat this. Okay. Don't need to drink anything. Okay. Sort it. Is 
build those up later. Okay, these don't work. Uh, okay. Just drop these off. Got what I need. All right, let's look at our quests. Okay, duct tape, cloth fragments. Kill 15 zombies with the wooden club. More animals, bicycle. Storage chests I'll do later because I can't put them down here yet. I'll just craft it later. And we got a bunch of resource stuff. All right, we're on the closest one. So they're all fetches. And then as far as skills, go with the forge. I'll wait on the mortar and the pestle. Um, don't need mm, pack mule for sure. Miner 69er. I'm not going to do Skull Crusher because I'm not going to use a Sledgehammer. I don't know if the knockdown works for clubs, um, but I just don't want to waste the skill points. I mean, we have a bunch of skill points right now, but that's just because everything else is locked behind um, levels and other things. So I want to use them kind of smart early on. All right, so I skipped through this entire initial sequence because I found out my dumbass somehow turned off the enemy spawning when I started the game, which I honestly don't know how that happened. Maybe it glitched over from one of my test worlds. But I went through this entire POI wondering where the fuck are all the zombies. And... It wasn't until I got to the next quest, which is right next door, that uh, I realized I fucked up. So, yeah, I mean, I left it in, I just kind of skipped through it. Nothing really significant um, that I found here, but yeah, it is what it is. My first time, so shit happens. And we're back. Alright, that was fucking stupid. Oh, fuck. You stupid. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. Infected. This is some bullshit. Where the fuck were you, Billy? Fuck, sucker. I don't have any honey or antibiotics. I'll have to hopefully find something or maybe Jen has some shit. Eat first. Have a coffee. Hmm. Fucking bird. Let's search this little garage. Alright, nothing too special, but it's early. Move it, fucker. Alright, I'm gonna go through here because I don't think his dumbass is gonna follow me up. And I don't want him out here running like an idiot against the wall. Close this door real quick. Let's open this up. Painkillers. Oh, cutting board. Not going to need that for a while. Nice. Got a cooking grill. Now I just need a pot. Close this door. Okay. 
the fuck are you shooting in? All right, let's go. Come on, motherfucker. Yeah. What the? What are you doing? Fucking idiot. What the fuck is your problem? I swear to God, Billy. I'm gonna fucking slap you. find a lot of these little items they're not really useful they're meant for scrapping or you could just sell it what up sunburn who's there hey oops Got you in the dick. Oh. They tend to swing for their fucking asses and dicks. I don't know what that means. Should ask my shrink. This is where we would normally would have dropped down from if we went through the roof. So you'll find a lot of these stuffed animals. They sell for quite a lot. Honestly, I hold on to them because I've realized there are some random quests and things you'll find in the world that ask you to take specific toys to the trader. So early on, I just kind of hold on to them just in case. If I need to sell them later, I will, but I like to kind of build shelves and kind of put them all over my base as well don't judge me okay let's go wait oh you motherfucker I thought I killed you oh no I fucking restarted the quest and brought his stupid ass back to life and since I didn't come up from the roof just sitting there waiting fucking cocksucker Billy where the fuck are you at Jesus man well that didn't take long nice work Emmett J, if you only knew. God. All right, let's sell some stuff. Not gonna get anything from her yet. Do I have anything else to sell? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. I hope you come back and see me. Check back soon. Maybe we'll have something. You looking to earn some dukes? All right, let's I, grab I another quest. So glad to hey, Jen. I can make my payment to the Duke now. Bullshit. I guess it's fitting considering there was no fucking zombies. What else you got? Ah, oh, yes, antibiotics. Take that. Remember me if you need medical supplies. Sure. Grab I've another job. Problem. Can you help? Okay. Hurry back soon, and I'll have a nice reward for you. All right, let's take these antibiotics real quick. Get rid of the infection this other thing treated abrasion oh, okay all right everyone that is going to be it for this episode i will be back soon with part two of date one until then thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time goodbye